Hey guys, my name's Kim and I've got Catherine and Matt from Superb Learning with us today on the Deep Dive podcast. These guys are great partners of ours. We do a lot of work together in the e-learning and instructional design space. And both of us, or all of us together, have been kind of on our own little journey around gamification. Uh, I went to a workshop to learn about it from a uni perspective and these guys have recently written a blog on it and I thought, Great opportunity to get uh, people that are passionate about it and have interest in gaming at home um, onto the show and yeah, <laughs> avid fan over here. Um, so yeah, just like let's explore basically gamification and how it can be used in the learning space. So I am going to throw it over to you, Catherine, mm -hmm. because I know you are super passionate about games. I am. And I would like to know what is it? that gets you playing games, or do you play for hours and hours? Yes, I have. Uh, I have literally put about 200 hours into one game. Wow. Not at one time, it was broken <laughs> up. But I have uh, game to a point where eight hours will just go. Yeah. Um, what game is it? Um, I play a lot of role playing. Yeah. So uh, it's a Final Fantasy series, but there are others, and um, that's the main one. And why are you hooked so much? How can you put 200 hours of your life into it? <laughs> well, there's many reasons. I think especially with that um, franchise or role play, that's the whole point. You get uh, in role, you get to choose character, and I think it's that autonomy, that control over who you want to be. And it's designing a character too, so you have that chance to um, and choose different abilities. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And then you get to obviously be be that character. I can just spend hours just making the character, but I think it's also the other characters within the game. So, and the storyline is amazing. It's so detailed, and yeah, it goes on goes on for ages. The story. Oh, cool. Yeah. Are there other games like what's a game that hasn't hooked you? Probably more shooting games. Yeah. Um, Why is yeah. that? Because uh, I'm not very good at shooting. <laughs> I always miss. I'm like a stormtrooper. Um, <laughs> but um, no, I think I, I, I like the whole fact that it's role play because you do become immersed into the story. There's the whole world. There's the map that you can um, go in. And, and you have um, that freedom to go on your own journey as yeah. well. That's cool. Yeah, and you have you have quests and and that's the whole idea of accomplishment. So I will farm for hours. I will just go and kill one enemy for hours and hours and hours because they need to drop a specific <laughs> um, something, you know, that's valuable to yeah. making a weapon to and and you just you want that sense of achievement that you want to gain yeah, that thing. I love it. Yeah. So that they're really cool things though. So you got sense of achievement, yeah. the autonomy, mm -hmm. you love the story and the, yeah, characters, the characters that you get captured in. What about you Matt? Do you play games and like what's has it ever captivated you? No, I, I haven't really been a, a huge game player. Yeah. Um, just I've probably been yeah busy, busy doing other things. Yeah. <laughs> <Unfortunately>. <laughs> I think I like. um, yeah. No, no, but I, I, I understand what Catherine's saying and, and yeah, there's certainly some really good stuff and there's some good research actually around, you know, taking back to the learning piece around that people are actually more engaged in a learning piece if they actually can select the avatar that they're going to be and if yeah. there's that, that autonomy, yeah, to, to sort of select who they are and what their character's going to be, um, it's, it actually adds to the, to the experience. So I think there's a lot of stuff that is, is done in, in the gaming type space that, you know, we should be duplicating or looking at how we can duplicate into, into learning experiences. I mean, you know, you, you probably would never say to someone, hey, here's a course, and go and, you know, it's going to be two hours of doing this course. Yeah. But if you actually had content and someone spent two hours, you know, delving into content because they had all of those things, the personalization, you know, the, the ability to, to go on their own journey to get that content that they needed for their own, you know, for their own personal development, then, you know, that would be great if they're, they're doing that. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, at the moment, people probably try and avoid anything that's more than an hour long because it's boring as batshit and, and they don't <laughs> want to do it, you know? So, yeah. um, certainly bringing in those elements of gaming and having people motivated to do that is, is something we need to be looking at more. Yeah. And this, it's something we're certainly talking about and how we can actually, yeah, bring in more of those game elements and, and do more 
game stuff. Yeah. And I think the role play piece as well is another good one. Um, you know, where you're, you're then asking people to, to rely on their own experiences, not simply regurgitate what they've been told. Yeah.